perhaps you can validate this happened in 57. NC State was playing Florida State in Tallahassee. Ernie Driscoll was the quarterback for NC State. And I guess in this particular play that was called, they put Dick Christie out wide as a receiver. And I guess you were playing the corner, and you guys might have been matched up. I don't know whether it was zone or man coverage. Apparently, Dick Christie made the catch and went in for the game's only score. And this was before the half. And uh, as the story goes, and again, I ask for your validation, uh, is uh, that you did not come out for the second half. And essentially, uh, football came to an end for Burt Reynolds, and you drove off to Hollywood and uh, got into the movie business. Is that story pretty much accurate? Well, I'd like to say it's accurate only because of my admiration for Mr. Christie. But uh, first of all, he ran out of bounds. In fact, I think he went behind the bench and then he came back on the field because he disappeared out of my eye line. And then he was behind me, uh, which is uh, my side of the story. I did come back for the second half, and I did go in. I played a little bit. But at halftime, some of the things that were said to me, I didn't like a lot. I was playing with one leg. I had I had been uh, I had a tremendous freshman year. Then I had gotten hurt at the beginning of my sophomore year and had my knee operated on. Then I had a terrible automobile accident, lost my spleen, and had the other knee operated on. So I came back. The ball player that was playing against Dick Christie was not the ball player that I was when I was a freshman. Which doesn't mean that he wouldn't have gotten behind me because he was he was an All-American. He was a great great ball player. They had two ball players. Uh, I can't remember the other back's name that were uh, both great backs. But I did, after that game, my roommate, who was Vic Frenzy and Corso, and I had a meeting, and I said, I, I'm, I think I'm leaving because I, I, I'm not the ball player I was, and I, I hate to see the hole open, and I'm a step slower. And I said to them, uh, I'm going to go off to Hollywood and become a movie star. And instead of them laughing hysterically, which they should have done, and said, get a job, they both said, we'll call us when you do.